Hi everyone, Tim Hodges welcoming you back to the Armour Oil Summer Grill, joined by this Gold Coast 600 winner, Jack Perkins. Jack, we're on the countdown to the Clipsal 500, the start of the 2016 V8 supercar season. Let's preview a couple of teams. Super Black Racing, they started with a bang last year and then it really fell off for this team. They brought Chris Pither in for 2016. How do you see their fortunes? Yeah, well, I mean, looking back at 2015, their sort of first full-time crack at it uh, with a young rookie driver, he performed okay, you know, qualified there or thereabouts and showed glimpses of speed, but ultimately didn't deliver the results for the team and more importantly, the team owner, um, you know, and he got benched for the last two races. So Chris Pither there, new fresh face, he's been at it a long time, a guy that works incredibly hard at his racing and, you know, obviously able to bring some fun in as well, which is probably a pretty important part for the team. But, you know, they're in the championship winning team with Pro Drive Racing Australia running this as a customer car. They'll be really looking for results. That's what they want. And, you know, obviously the results in 2015 weren't good enough. So we, Chris needs to be looking at top tens and getting right in there and cemented himself in the championship. Do you think that's a realistic goal for him? Well, it's hard in the first year. Um, you know, V8 Supercars is proven to be a category that takes a lot of time to get your head around it. Not often can someone come in first year and win races and, and so on. So, you know, he needs to do the job in the first year to make sure he gets a crack in the second year because the second year is when he can really capitalise on the experience. Um, it was such a messy end for Heimgartner. The team finished last in the team's championship. Do you see this as a team that's going to be around for the long term in this sport? Well, it's hard to know. I mean, Tony Lentino is a successful business, businessman from New Zealand, very passionate about his racing and the super black team. I think if Chris can do a good job, um, you know, really get some results for the team and they get some good support behind them, I'm sure they'll be here for a few years. So what's a good result for Chris when we get to the Clipsal 500? So you just got to finish the races. And if you finish the races at Clipsal, you'll be very close to being in the top 10. And that's the best way you can start the year. Finish the races, solid haul of points, and then look forward to the second event. Thanks, Jack. There's one of the teams to look forward to in 2016, Super Black Racing. I mean, it's uh, been a few years in the making now, but to have my first full-time season um, signed away is, is something I'm really looking forward to and can't, get, can't wait to get 2016 underway. Good, good machinery as well. Yeah, definitely. To be uh, jumping in the, in the super black racing car uh, as part of the ProDrive stable is, is definitely a good place to be for me, I think. And uh, yeah, I've got a bit of a taste for the cars uh, this year um, and, and looking forward to 2016, I think, um, for me, it's going to be a great place to be. I guess when they've looked at that car, you know, those guys you know, have been up there and probably really good, a good consistent run with the super black car is what super black's looking for as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, at the end of the day, we all want to be out there winning races. Um, for me, uh, I'm going to be uh, jumping in the deep end. I'm going to have a lot to learn, obviously, and, and just so long as we keep moving forward, that's going to be the aim. And, and if we can pop up in the top 10 occasionally, I think we'll be pretty happy with that. Each week, Armour All will be giving away the ultimate summer pack. The pack comprises of a range of summer products such as the Armour All foldable chair, Armour All hat, Chula Esky bag, bottle opener, Armour All stickers, along with a range of Armour All products to keep your car looking cool and clean this summer. To enter the draw, all you have to do is click on the link below and fill in your details. It's that easy. See you tomorrow for another episode of the Armour All Summer Grill. Okay, so here's the best way to apply your tyre shine. Once your tyre's clean, just give it a nice light spray all the way around, pretty straightforward. Then maybe go and have a cup of tea, wait for it to dry 15 minutes say, come back, and if you give it another coat, just another night light coat, 15 minutes later, that's the way to get that nice, deep, glossy, rich shine.